You know, the Word is the foundation. Everything is upon the Word, right? Even everything the apostles and prophets do is based upon the Word. The Word is so important. It's so precious. You know, guys, can I tell you something? Signs and wonders, man. I love it. I do. Oh, my goodness, I love signs and wonders. I do. But do you know what I love more than that? The Word. Yeah! I do. Because can I tell you something? We can get really lost in signs and wonders, man. And you'll get really, really funny with it, too, man. I've seen too long in the charismatic movement people going off left and right, going astray into weird places because they had no foundation on the Word. The question that we should have right now is, are we founded on the Word? The foundation is the Word. And I really feel like solidifying that because, man, there's a move of His power. And I believe when you preach the Word, you should have a demonstration of God's power. 1 Corinthians 4.20. I fully believe it. I do. I love the body of Christ. I love you guys. I think you're amazing. I think you're awesome. I think you're all going to do so many great things in Christ, you know. But in this revival that God's doing in these last days, this great awakening that's the beginning to verse 4, Let's not forget the one who's doing it all. Yes. Yes. You know? Yes. Us men and women of God, that God is trusting us with, with this, right? We have one thing, man, that we got to make sure stays in place. And that is that Jesus Christ is lifted high above all men. Right? Yes. Above everything. He has to be the focal point, man. The same way Moses raised the broad serpent and people were healed, healed is the same way we lift Jesus today. Amen? Amen. And you know what needs to follow this move of God next that's really going to sustain it? Everything that's happened to you today. Listen, this is very important. Everything that's happened to you today. The deliverances, the miracles, the healings, everything, the encounters, the heaven, uh, the being raptured into the heavenly encounters and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. If love is not behind it, that's right. it's worthless. It's worthless. Yeah. I'm serious. Look, I've been in the hype game of Christianity. I'm a hype guy. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Love has to be there. And I'm not talking about compromising love. I'm not talking about perverted love. I'm talking about convicting love. Love that puts you in the arms of Jesus, man. That's the love we need. Amen. That's what you need right now. That love must move forward from here today. Everywhere that you go. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, do you love the word? Yes. Can we read it for a moment? Yes. Because the word is a much better preacher than me. Trust me. I want to read a few things, man. I know you're standing it's super hot in here. It's Holy Ghost hot too, so it's a good mixture, right? We got physical heat and supernatural heat. Amen. You guys on the outside, listen up, man. Don't miss it. Catch it out there. All right? Matthew 9, 35 to 38 says this. I'm going to read from the, the Passion really fast. It says, Jesus walked throughout the region with the joyful message of God's kingdom realm. He taught in their meeting houses, and wherever he went, he demonstrated, right? God's power by healing every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the vast crowds of people, Jesus' heart was deeply moved with compassion. Come on, man. Because they seemed weary and helpless, like wandering sheep without a shepherd. He turned to his disciples and said, The harvest is huge and ripe, but there are not enough harvesters to bring it all in. As you go, plead with the owner of the harvest to thrust out many more reapers to harvest his grain. Yes. Do we have harvesters in the room? Do you want to leave here and be used by Jesus Christ? Listen, I'm a community guy, man. That's why I'm 
made the forerunners, man. I'm serious, and they are animals, man. But Jesus, they really are. I love them, man. I love every one of them. They all bring something so unique to the table. And so do you. You understand that? You have something inside of you that is unique and different that nobody else has, man. It has to get unlocked today. Today. Come on! Today is the day of salvation. And we will be glad and rejoice in it. Amen? Listen, I was praying for you, young lady, right? She was right here earlier, right? Manifesting like all get out, man. I mean, just shaking and quaking, right? Right there, y'all remember. Some of y'all remember shaking, right? I'm standing there and I told my wife, I said, I think I need to pray for her. I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to pray for a soul because I know I'm going to crowd surf or something later, right? So I was like, I ain't trying to pray for nobody right now. But the Lord said, pray for her, Daniel, and show her love. Right? I said, sure, let me go ahead and pray for this lady, man. And all I did was came up to you and what did I say? That's it. But I also told her, release your past. The past was holding her, man. She wouldn't let go of the past. It was condemning her. It was melting her guilty and shame. It was condemning her. You know, the demons manifest. You know why they manifest on Christians? You got to lift up the, the, the pant leg of your past. Go, man. Let it go. You're going to manifest it until you get over it, man. Let me tell you something. There's no sin, listen to this, that Jesus can't overcome. I don't care. Some of you are in this room right now, you feel guilty. Some of you manifested this whole meeting, man. And some of you are like, am I ever going to stop manifesting? You know how you'll stop manifesting? The moment you say, I give up. I'm not going to listen to this voice any longer. I'm going to choose righteousness because he has made me righteous. I'm going to choose holiness because he has made me holy. I'm going to choose purity because he has made me pure. Right? Is he not your righteousness? Is he not your holiness? Is he not your purity? Some people in there have been sexually abused and you're hiding it. And your demons have been manifested. You got taken advantage of by family members. Yeah. You got taken advantage of by babysitters. You got taken advantage of by people that you thought were really friends. You got manipulated. And a big thing in your heart is why me? Well, you want me to tell you why? Because God marked you when you were born. And the devil does not want you to know who God has called you to be. Some of you men in here, you're struggling with homosexuality and you don't want to talk about it. Some of you are dealing with pornography and you don't know how to confess it. Because you're scared it's going to ruin your whole life. Can I tell you something? The moment you confess it, and it's the moment the shame goes, it's the moment the guilt goes, it's the moment the condemnation goes. You don't have to struggle, man. Another day. Look, I'm an ex-adulterer, I'm an ex-pornography guy, I'm an ex-everything, man. Seriously. Daniel, are you an ex-sat? Yep. Are you an ex-sat? Yep. Are you an ex-sat? Yep. But you know what? I also know the other side. I'm an ex that, right? You know why? Because I finally understood repentance. I got it. I really understood it, man. We need to understand what it means to repent. You know how to repent? Accept that you're loved by a holy God. Accept that God wants you, man. He wants every inch of you, man. Seriously. You know what I think is going to happen in this session right here? A love encounter, man. 
We're going to encounter love, man. Perfect love casts out fear. Love covers a multitude of sins. You know what will set you free real quick sometimes? I love you. I love you. You hear that, church? I love you. You know why I love you? Because he loved us first. And when you understand his love, you can give his love. Right? Do you know your love? No, really grasp what I'm saying right now. Do you understand that you're loved? Oh, you're so loved, man. You're, you're sickly loved by Jesus, man. Jesus is obsessed with you. So much that he came from heaven to snatch you back, man. Isn't that wild? I'm going to pray something. Father, right now, I want you to burn in every person that needs a love touch from you. Burn for Jesus. Now listen to it.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jesus do in your life. Yes, God. No. Hallelujah. Oh, God, God. Bless you. Thank you. And I said, I got a crowd surf, man. I'm just going to generally play, pray right now. Every unclean spirit, out. The love of God is going forward. Every spirit of sexual abuse, out. Right here. Hold on. people now. Jezebel, you will not 
take these men's manhood. Come out of them, man! I throw that witch out of the windows of your soul. Man! Get him, Holy Ghost. I break your scales now. Stop twisting people's thoughts. Come out!
Nasty old demons.
guys, I guess I got into service with Jesus, so let's ride. Come on, man. Hungry. Are you hungry? I'm going to do something different, all right? First of all, let me say something, please. I know you guys see me on YouTube and all that cool stuff. It's not about me. Can I say that first? Please, look, I am begging you. Do not make this about me. Please, please, please. I'm just like you. But listen, look at Jesus. I'm going to do something, okay? I feel like doing this. I'm going to walk through the crowd. I'm not going to touch you. I want you to touch me. Can you do that? Don't wash it, bro. Don't wash it, bro. That's anointed sweat, bro. I love you guys.
Oh, I got it. Wow. Turn on. Here you go. That's crazy. Yo, the Holy Ghost got me, man. You know, you know, I saw it, man. I saw it when I was walking. Jesus walked through the crowds and did the same thing, man. He loved the people, man. It's about the people. It's about what you guys had. I did that because that's what Jesus did, man. If y'all knew his love, man. He loves you guys. Something happened to me, man. That's crazy, bro. Tingling, man. Who's anointed out there, man? I'm on. I'm trying to hold it. He's back. He got the sleepers, boy. Yeah. Hey, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you for giving back, man. Thank you. It's a love thing, right? I hope y'all love me as much as I love you. I love you guys, for real. Guys, we have to have a revival in these last days, man. That's built on the love of Jesus, man. A love that convicts and does not condemn. say we want revival man you have to love well I was telling somebody I was like you know when I'm delivering somebody I don't look at their demons I see who they are in Christ a lot of times deliverance ministers will look at the demon I don't give a crap about that demon The Bible says look at a person and see them by the Spirit, right? That's the key to getting somebody completely set free. Looking at somebody and seeing everything they're worth, to work. you have a worth in you, you have a value in you, you have something special in you that only God can pull out of you. You hear me? Nothing, no angel, no demon, no principality can take the love of God from you. You understand? Jesus marked it with your love. in this place mighty God you're awesome 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 in this place for from you are all things and to you are all things you deserve the glory
For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Hey. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. Jesus Christ, you deserve the glory. Yeah. What can wash away your sins? What can make you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come on. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the out in the Holy Ghost. My wife thought I passed out, man. I felt to no, rub in my head. Someone, I, I someone got, told me I hit him. You uh, told me I hit. I got a Holy Ghost head rub down there for my wife because she was worried about me. 
But guys, the reason we're here is to tell you we love you. Thank you guys for real for everything you do. You're awesome. Every subscriber, every forerunner, your family to me, your family to heaven. And uh, we can't do any of this without you and ultimately without Jesus. But you know how I end every video. You ready, babe? Hey, listen. It, it is finished, man. We done, baby.